This is my Mexican Strat. The only mods I've done to this is I put Seymour Duncan pickups in it. Seymour Duncan Hot Rails, Duck Bucker, Seymour Duncan JB in the neck. And people tell me that Strats cannot do metal. So I think it's safe to say that a Fender Strat can sound metal, and not only can sound metal, it can totally sound amazing during metal. I think Fender Strats with a Seymour Duncan uh, Hot Rails pickup added to the bridge is just ideal. Um, I, can't, I can't even imagine there being a better pickup selection for a single coil. I'm not a single coil fan, so whenever I go to metal and drop tunings, that's the only mod that really made this guitar sound metal. Um, it You could get a heavy distortion out of the uh, single coils, but it was very thin, and it was uh, like not as heavy and low end, and not as... I just didn't like it. It was way too clinky sounding. And you make this a humbucker, and you are set. And if you've ever seen my Telly Does Metal video, um, my Fender Telly can do metal, you already know. I swear by these pickups, and I'm not endorsed or anything. I just really like the Hot Rails line because it's a single coil, but it's a humbucker. And all I used for this video was my EVH 5150, uh, the 50 watt version, and I used my um, bloody cabinet bloody mary cabinet with a vintage 30 
mic'd up, very simple setup. Uh, there's no editing. Um, I know a lot of guys that have done a, can these guitars do metal? They edit the shit out of their videos and that's fine. That's cool. I watch them. They're great. But I wanted you to get a raw tone of this and so you can now hear exactly what this guitar sounds like. Um, it's the pickups. Uh, the pickups, th the wood is like, just I don't I don't know about the whole like oh the certain wood the certain paint makes the color or makes the the guitar tone because I've played tons of guitars and you add good pickups in it and as long as it, the action's good and it's intonated correctly it just sounds great um, I will say though if you are planning to get a Fender Strat and go into the metal category be aware whenever you go into heavy low tunings this bar. I actually set this up to where, if you can hear, I actually brought it up a half step, I believe, or a full step. Um, I don't know. But anyways, I did it to where I can get it. It's so close to going to that next note. I set it up to where it does that, and I can also go down. I can go down with it. But now, the thicker strings that you get with these guitars... Um, it, they will pull the springs out and just make sure that you will have to set them up. And I know if you are starting to go into really heavy strings, like I'm talking 60s and above, um, you will have to probably block this bridge off. Do not think that um, you can just put thick strings on a Fender or any guitar with a Floyd or floating bridge or any sort of tremolo. You put thick strings on a tremolo and... It just does not work. It doesn't stay in tune. Um, that's just from my experience. But what I've done with um, some of my friends' guitars is I actually block off the bridge to where it cannot be used at all. Like as far as going down, you would take this out and then it sounds great. And then you can definitely use the lower tunings. I am not a huge fan of thick, thick strings. Um, but uh, if I have to, I will for studio use. But for playing, I just stay with normal strings. Um, not for like super low tunings though. But um, anyways, that is this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps out my YouTube channel. I'm not here to like, you know, do crazy amount of in-depth editing reviews. But I definitely like doing these kind of reviews for you guys so you guys can get a good idea. Um, you can follow my Instagram. Oh, and also... If you want to see the actual skill of my of my playing, this is not where you go and see it. My YouTube channel is not where you see my skill. Um, I have a band. You can check out my band um, in the link below. It's called Lies Behind Your Eyes, and uh, yeah, that's where I actually consider myself uh, like killing it. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a great night. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Also, I would like to add, I now have a Patreon account, which if you guys would like to support my YouTube channel, that would mean the world to me. A dollar a month, two dollars a month, something like that. Nothing crazy, um, but you could definitely go check that out below. Um, Patreon is kind of the new platform of how YouTubers make money nowadays, so if I actually start making enough, I can put more time into my YouTube and better videos for you guys, hopefully some music videos of me playing my actual music of my band, so that's what I would like um, to do, so that's why I made a Patreon account. So thank you guys very much, and check you out later.